Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another hard-hitting episode of the Callous Mind Talking Head Sportscast. I want to initiate this episode by asking you, what would you do if you won the Powerball jackpot that is currently estimated at $1.73 billion, with a B, dollars? Talk about fuck you money, that's it, baby. I also have to talk about the Diamondbacks here. They're up two games to none in this National League Division Series against the Diamondbacks, or I'm sorry, against the Dodgers. And I'm I'm super excited for them, man. Uh, They they seem like a really young, scrappy team. I don't know how if if they're deep enough to really advance beyond this round, but if they were to uh, be able to eliminate the Dodgers, their Western Division rivals and stuff, that would be very, very sweet. That's all I know. Because, uh, you know, the Dodgers have won recently. They've won a lot of division titles recently. Been in the playoffs a lot recently. So it'd be nice to see uh, a new team. And that team being the Arizona Diamondbacks uh, advance on to the next round. Also got a shout out. Boomer Sooner. The Oklahoma Suitors defeat the Texas Longhorns in the All-State Red River rivalry. And that's always nice to see. And uh, I'm super thankful for that. The only problem is, I don't know how good OU is, really. I mean, they were able to beat Texas, but I thought Texas was a little overrated coming into this game. I thought they had gotten a lot of their rank because they had beaten Alabama. Uh, Alabama had a scare over the weekend as well, so I'm not, I don't have a lot of faith that Oklahoma finishes this season undefeated. Uh, call me a pessimist or call me a realist, but. Uh, you know, it wouldn't hurt my feelings to see them go undefeated, but will they? Mm, I don't know. I'm not so sure. All right, and while we're on the top of college football, I wanted to highlight the Arizona Wildcats going to triple overtime before losing to the Trojans. And I'm kind of scratching my head wondering if Colorado and Arizona have now created a blueprint to deal with the USC Trojans, Um, if you remember, uh, SC got out to a huge lead against Colorado, and then Colorado came back and actually made it a respectable game. Colorado did lose the game, but did they put forth something that maybe the coaches at Arizona saw that they applied to this game? Uh, You know, I I just got done saying that I don't know how good OU is, whether they're going to finish the season undefeated or not. And I got to say the same thing about the USC Trojans, especially... If they have to play Oregon, I don't know their their future schedule or whatever. Uh, But, you know, the thing about college football is don't ever get too high and don't ever get too low. You know, chances are uh, your team's never as bad as people say they are. And they're never as good as, you know, the pundits may be saying that they are either. So just uh, always just take it with level wings. All right. Before I go too far in this video, I want to say happy birthday to all the October birthdays out there, including Paula, Mary, Jay, Kathy, Shelley, and my late grandmother. Uh, Happy birthday to all the Libras here early in the month and Scorpios later in the month of October. My 2023 NFL Week 5 pick results were as follows. Seven wins, seven losses. Immediately on Thursday night, I was disappointed as the Commanders lose to the Bears. And not only did I lose that pick, but I also lost a wager because I had a parlay that included them. I think I said that in last week's video. And Chicago decided to actually score some points and play good and beat the Commanders, which sucks for me. Uh, The Buffalo Bills lose on the road, and I almost predicted that last week. Uh, I believe if we look back in last week's video, I had some hesitation taking Buffalo because it's such a long flight over to London. Jacksonville had already been waiting over there. Jacksonville gets that key win uh, across the pond. Uh, The Texans lose a nail-biter there to the Atlanta Falcons. Detroit keeps on rolling. The Colts win. The Dolphins win. The Patriots lose. Not only did they lose, they got shut out and looked pathetic. Uh, Ravens lose to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and thank you, Ravens. You helped blow out a parlay for me. Uh, I sincerely do not appreciate that either. Uh, The Eagles win. The Cardinals lose. 
Uh, it turns out that Joe Burrow was healthy for this game, and the Bengals just needed to play the Cardinals to get right, apparently, because uh, they put an ass whooping on the Cardinals. Uh, the Jets go into Denver and beat the lowly, lowly Denver Broncos. Wow. Kansas City wins in Minnesota. San Francisco smacks Dallas. And the Raiders hoist the colors, Raider Nation. The Raiders win on Monday Night Football. Yes, sir, Rebob. Bob. 2023 NFL Week 6 picks are as follows. Uh, Thursday Night Football features Denver visiting the Kansas City Chiefs. This is an AFC West matchup, and I will take the Kansas City Chiefs at home to defeat the lowly Denver Broncos. Sunday, October 15th kicks off with Baltimore at Tennessee. And I want so badly to take the Ravens on the road here, but I'm not sure, uh, quite honestly. Because uh, they're up and down, but I do think that they can get this win because Tennessee's kind of up and down as well. So this is kind of a coin flip, but I'm going to take Baltimore to rebound here. And I'll take the Ravens on the road to get the win. Next game, Washington Commanders visit the Atlanta Falcons. And I'm going to take the Dirty Birds at home. So I'll take the Falcons at home to defeat the Commanders. Next game, Minnesota at the Chicago Bears. This is an NFC North matchup, and I don't really trust the Minnesota Vikings, but I don't really trust the Chicago Bears either. It really depends on which teams show up for them. So I'm going to take Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings on the road to get the win at the Chicago Bears. Next game is Seattle at Cincinnati, and perhaps uh, Joe Burrow is recovered now with his calf. Perhaps they've gotten right. Uh, I'm going to speculate that they have. So I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals at home to get the win against the visiting Seahawks. Next game, San Francisco at the Cleveland Browns. My understanding is that Deshaun Watson is still questionable because apparently he's got a rotator cuff issue in his throwing arm, which, oh my God, dude. Uh, is this guy ever going to play like 16 full games for Cleveland or was this just the most foolish trade ever made that that's kind of my question um if he was playing and since the browns have a stout defense i actually wouldn't be opposed to taking the browns in this game but if he's not playing i give these guys no chance whatsoever and i'll take the san francisco 49ers on the road to get the win against the cleveland browns next game carolina panthers at the miami dolphins and miami can just outscore just about anybody out there uh, Miami's at home. Uh, they're fast. They're hungry. They're good. I'll take the Miami Dolphins at home to get the win against the Panthers. Next game, Indianapolis Colts visit their AFC South rival, the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I'm going to take Jacksonville at home to get the win against the Colts. Next game, New Orleans Saints at the Houston Texans. This game is also a coin flip for me. But given the fact that New Orleans is coming off of a shutout victory over the New England Patriots, I'm going to give them a little more momentum here. And I will take the Saints on the road to defeat the Houston Texans. The next game features the Las Vegas Raiders at home taking on the New England Patriots. And I will take the Raiders at home to get this win against those visiting Patriots. Next game, Arizona Cardinals visit the Los Angeles Rams. This is a division opponent for the Arizona Cardinals. And uh, I don't have a lot of faith in either one of these teams. I mean, Los Angeles gave Philly a good run. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm always going to root for Big Red, usually especially against Los Angeles teams. So I'll take the Arizona Cardinals on the road to get the win at the Los Angeles Rams. Next game, Philadelphia Eagles at the New York J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. I will take the Eagles to continue to fly, fly, fly on the road in New York. Next game, Detroit Lions visiting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And this game has me a little perplexed as well. I feel like Tampa could get this win, but I also feel like Detroit can get this win. And I don't think these are the Detroit Lions teams of old. I think these guys are serious contenders. 
uh, at least for that NFC North crown, if not for a lot more. So I will take the Lions on the road to defeat the home Buccaneers. Uh, Sunday Night Football features the New York, they might be football giants, uh, going to uh, visit the Buffalo Bills within the same state. So here we have a, another battle of New York State, if you will. And I will take the Buffalo Bills at home to get the win against the Giants. Monday Night Football features the Dallas Cowboys visiting the Los Angeles Chargers. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Cowboys in this game. So I'll take the Cowboys to get a win, close or not, squeaker or not. Uh, I'll take the Cowboys to outscore the Los Angeles uh, Chargers. And then the buys this week are the Green Bay Packers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Before I go, I want to remind you all to be sure to check callousmind.com for certain content that I curate and put on there. Uh, one of the stories was this text from Mel Tucker, accuser reveal financial shakedown. Uh, this was from OutKick. And uh, the reason I'd put that out there is because I talked about, I thought that Mel Tucker was getting railroaded in my video from like two weeks ago. Uh, that one didn't get a lot of views, but I don't know if, if any of you had seen it or not. But anyway, uh, I thought this was interesting. So I put this out on callousmind.com. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Please, please, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you would do with that Powerball win, whether you take the annuity or the lump sum. And um, be good to yourselves and each other. And I will talk to you all next week. God bless. <music>